Kenyan time and of course uh, who the winners of uh, the awards uh, will be. Of course, we get back here into, in uh, studio. We have the Equity Hawks, that is the Kenya, Premier, uh, Kenya Basketball Premier League uh, champions. And uh, earlier on, we were talking how, about how the 2018 season has been. And of course, uh, of course we have uh, the coach right here in studio, that is uh, David Miner. Uh, we have uh, Denise and uh, Rose. And uh, coach, David. One thing that Kenyans, you know, would like to know, uh, you lost a number of players. Mm -hmm. How have you coped with that? Um, you know, as a coach, uh, any time you lose a player, it doesn't mean that uh, the team is not going to be the same. Mm -hmm. You just need to identify some new talents. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I did, uh, I was able to identify mm -hmm. one or two. And especially one of them uh -huh. had an immediate impact in the team. Uh -huh. And uh, she has been a starter of most of the games. Mm -hmm. So for me, there's no gap that was left. Uh -huh. Yes. But of course, uh, you take a look at uh, the loss of Wanyama. Yes. And, and you know, Kenyans uh, know that she, she was a star for equity. Uh, the other time when you defeated KPA in the final, that was in 20, 2016. Yes. In the final, she was the most valuable player. Mm -hmm. I mean, how, the gap that she left, how easy was it or how difficult was it to fill it? Uh, as a coach, you have to, to be ready uh -huh. to replace when a player decides to, to, to leave the team mm -hmm. because we cannot hold a player at ransom uh -huh. that you must be part of the team. Uh -huh. Once a player decides to move out, it's up to me now as the coach to go out and look at a replacement. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what I did. Mm -hmm. As I have just said, my replacement was an immediate replacement who made an impact in the team. Uh -huh. And I, I have no regrets about uh, the new replacement I have uh -huh. because she's very young. She's still in college at uh, Kenyatta University, and I know she has a very bright future. Mm -hmm. Yes. Rose, uh, the coach has, has said that, you know, the replacements, some of, them, the, some of those that have come in are very young. You know, how easy or difficult is, has it been for them to gel with the team, the young players that you have? The advantage we have with the young, when you are, the younger you are, the easier is it for you to adjust. Uh -huh. Then we have the older team, players in the team, they are mentoring them. So mm -hmm. the transition has not been so bad as the coach said. Uh -huh. The effect was felt for a while, but once the new players came in, it was seamless. It's like we'd had them uh -huh. for the whole season. Uh -huh. yeah. Denise, uh, Kenyans normally feel like basketball does not pay. You know, if you if you are young, stay uh, young. Uh, when you are young, you want to play basketball. Then your parents will ask you, "What are you doing that for?" You know, does basketball in Kenya pay? I would say yes and no. Uh -huh. Yes, because there are people who get scholarships on basketball, mm -hmm. and you get a job on basketball. Mm -hmm. um, our team, I know, employs mm -hmm. half the team, if not more than half the team, is employed uh -huh. through basketball. So. Uh -huh. In that sense, yes, it pays. Mm -hmm. um, on the other hand, no, because you cannot have a career on basketball only. Like, you can't say, all I do is play basketball and I have enough to sustain myself. Uh -huh. So, in that aspect, no, it doesn't pay. It doesn't pay on, on, on that aspect. Yeah. Rose, uh, let's talk about uh, now 2019. It's coming up. A new year for you, the defending champions. Everybody will be seeking to beat equity. I mean, that will... It's the ultimate goal of, you know, a number of teams in the league, you know. Mm. As, you know, Equity Hawks, what should we expect from you in 2019? We can only get better mm -hmm. from where we are right now. Mm -hmm. We've learned from our mistakes the hard way, so mm -hmm. we have a coach who will not let us forget that, where we've come from and where we are heading to. Mm -hmm. We know we can't get too comfortable because a team can lose easily to another team, but when they know they are coming to play equity, you'll even be surprised. This is the team that played the other team. Uh -huh. They put their best game forward with us. So us, even though the weakest team come, we always have to be prepared because they know they'll also bring their best mm -hmm. when they're meeting up with us. Do you feel like you guys get enough competition in the league? In Kenya, other than KPA and Storms this year, mm -hmm. it hasn't been that competitive. That's why we struggled a bit when you go outside Kenya. Because uh -huh. not those other, they, like Uganda has a very competitive League. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now as our best is almost their average there. So we have to really step up when we leave Kenya. Mm -hmm. The other countries are more competitive than we are mm -hmm. by some sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Coach David, uh, I mean, your team has performed so well in the league. And, you know, 
when you compare yourself against other teams, you know, what is not being done right? Uh, Rosa said, you know, the competition is not as, uh, as stiff as it should be. You know, what is not being done right when you talk about women's basketball in Kenya? I think for me is um, we need uh, guys to come on board mm -hmm. and uh, fund these teams because uh, if we don't have uh, sponsors coming in to sponsor the teams, mm -hmm. then we'll just have uh, two teams playing uh, the finals mm -hmm. each and every other year. And that is where we need guys to come in and uh, assist with the uh, ladies' basketball. Mm -hmm. Because internationally, the ladies' basketball, we, we are doing very well. Mm -hmm. But now we lack that boost of uh, support from uh, sponsors. Mm -hmm. Yes. Denise, what are your thoughts? I think talent-wise... Kenya is really good. Like we have, we have the most talent, yeah. but um, it's it's talent only can't 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 do it. So we need to support that talent. So support it in what terms? In terms of sponsorship, as coach is saying. In terms of coaches having the right skills to develop these players, like what uh, Eldoret is doing, I think is a really good start. Yeah. And if most people would would copy that or would uh, take up that, then uh -huh. generally basketball would improve yeah. then maybe the sponsors would have a reason to come and sponsor because now they're seeing this can actually get me somewhere mm -hmm. but as it is now like i said most people start basketball in high school mm -hmm. and it's just like because you, you don't want to go to drama festival or you don't want to <laughs> like, oh, like myself I don't, I don't want to oh. dance around so i go and start playing basketball mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you, you join it not because it's something that can really earn you something. You just play it for the sake of playing it. But if we are to start from the beginning, mm -hmm. playing that, you know, this is something that can take me somewhere else, that can earn me something, mm -hmm. then I think there will be a really big, a really big change. Mm -hmm. yeah. Rose, the youngsters watching right now, you know, they would want to do, uh, rather they would want to know, you know, getting to the top level like uh, yourself uh, at equity or you know, what is the procedure? I want to be among the best, but how do I get to be among the best? You really have to work hard at because you just don't get here by being part of victory. You have to train a lot. You have to sacrifice. Like us, most of the time when people leave work, I have to go and train for another two hours. Mm -hmm. So it's really sacrifice and work hard work on my part so that you can improve your game. Mm -hmm. You can't just watch basketball and think that when I go play on Saturday, I'll be playing like... Denise or like Rose, you have to put a lot of effort mm -hmm. into it. So coach, as uh, we wrap it up uh, on uh, how the season has been, and uh, what should we expect from uh, the Hawks in 2019? Actually, for 2019, I think uh, we are not thinking about uh, doing a lot of recruitment because mm -hmm. uh, the team as of now, we are, we are good. Mm -hmm. We just need to start uh, early training. Uh -huh. And uh, we are going to try and request the management to allow us to have a friendly or two mm -hmm. with uh, teams from Uganda mm -hmm. because that's where I think we have a lot of competition. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if we are going to have those kind of competitions, it's going to help us a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of recruitment, the reason why we cannot recruit, mm -hmm. we want a manageable team. Mm -hmm. Because if you have uh, a big team, then uh, you'll find some will be very comfortable uh -huh. and they'll not be working so hard. Mm -hmm. So for me, I'd rather have a manageable team of uh, 15. Uh -huh. So what I'm going to think about uh, the team for next year, uh, for those, uh, some of my players who are not up to the standard that we expect, mm -hmm. we'll have to request them uh, maybe to look for another team uh -huh. and maybe we get a replacement of uh, one or two players. That's the only thing I think. So we just need to replace. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, the coach has spoken. Stan and straight to the point. Rose, yeah. am I hosting you here in 2019 after <laughs> retaining the title? But of course. <laughs> <laughs> what say you, Denise? Ah, yes. Definitely. Yes, yes. coach. Yeah, we will be here again in uh -huh. 2019. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because uh, one thing I've liked about uh, my team is uh, if you look at uh, my players, they are good listeners, mm -hmm. they are coachable their discipline. Mm -hmm. I think it starts from uh, where they, I mean, from home. Mm -hmm. Then they bring it to the court. And they don't even have issues uh, when it comes to discipline. Uh -huh. And when you have a disciplined team, now it puts you as a coach in a situation whereby you have to dig deep, dig deep, so that you get the results. Mm -hmm. Because I've been given everything, I have no excuse of not uh, retaining the championship. Mm -hmm. Yes. Be before I let you go, coach, I mean, uh, winning the title uh, for the second time in uh, three years, 
and uh, the the steady rise of equity hawks yes in the you know from when you were playing in the nba to mm -hmm. the kenya premier league you know how was it uh, maybe for those who don't know equity has been there for the last five years mm -hmm. we are going to the sixth year uh -huh. And uh, so far, we have won uh, two Premier League titles. Yeah. Uh, we have won the NBA League uh, Championship and beaten. Mm -hmm. And now we have the Zone 5 uh, Championship in our cabinet. Mm -hmm. And we are looking forward to have many titles. Mm -hmm. So you see, within a short span of time, we have been able to do a lot. Mm -hmm. And that is because of, uh, we are all dedicated as players, the coach, the management. And uh, the, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Rose? Of course, uh, we are talking about uh, the Magaribi Awards uh, that will be taking place uh, this evening. And uh, two of equity players have been nominated in the basketball ladies category. That is uh, Hilda Indasi and Selina Okumu. You know, how do you feel when you have your teammates nominated for such awards? Uh, we feel so proud because that means that mm -hmm. even back from the grassroots where they came from, mm -hmm. they are still being recognized that mm -hmm. we are from here and we are making it big. Uh -huh. So we are proud as a, as a team that we also have some of our members representing us back at the awards uh -huh. and we wish them all the best. Mm -hmm. If it was possible, I hope both two of them would get <laughs> <laughs> the best ladies. Yeah. And one of them was the MVP for the finals. Yes, yeah, Selena. Uh -huh. She is our MVP for the 2018 season. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, d uh, finally, for Denise, I mean, do you feel like uh, there's enough recognition for basketball players in the country? No, no. Who even knows uh, basketball players in Kenya? Who does? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think the recognition could be better. Mm -hmm. Is it our federation that should make it better? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Is it the teams themselves that should make it better? Uh -huh. I don't know. Um, but. What I know is something needs to be done. There should be a combined effort of, of many people uh -huh. to at least have basketball more recognized. Basketball is actually a really big sport. Mm -hmm. Look at NBA, how many fans does NBA have? Mm -hmm. And there are fans in Kenya. So mm -hmm. why can't they then support the local league? Uh -huh. Something needs to be done. Something needs to be done. Of course, yeah. uh, the questions uh, that Denise is uh, asking your guess is as well as mine as to what the answer is. Equity Hawks are the 2018 champions in the KBF Women's uh, uh, Division. Thank you for coming in uh, and, of course, talking to us about how the, se the season has been. That is uh, the coach, uh, David Miner. Rose and Denise who found uh, time to come and talk to us about the season, how the season has, has been and what to expect in uh, 2019 from them. So let's shift gears from basketball. Let's get into some football and uh, Football Kenya Federation uh, held uh, coaching clinics for women, uh, re, uh, rather for women coaches in the country, and they are hoping that the structures that will be, that will be put in place will uh, help uh, improve uh, women's football in the country to increase the numbers of women playing football in Kenya right now the only numbers that we have of women playing football are the ones that we get from our leagues yet we know that there are more playing football at different levels outside the structures of the Federation so we want to bring those ones into the into the Federation know how many numbers those are and from there start growing them Secondly, is to increase the number of women coaches. The numbers are not very good. We did a patch about a month ago, and if you look at the Kenya Premier League, we have about 40 referees who are going to be shared.